All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. This one is also going to be a themed episode themed around the Fantastic Four expansion. I know that I've used Galactus a little bit at some point, so I decided to use the other mastermind in the set, which is Mole Man. I think I've used Subterranea before, but I'm using him again for this. So we've got Mole Man here. I might get this to focus. He gets plus one for each Subterranea villain and that has escaped. He always leads Subterranea, who is who we're using for the villain group. Um, and then all, his master strike is all subterranean villains in the city escape. If any villains escape this way, each player gains a wound. So that's a bummer. The scheme twist, or, or the scheme we're doing is flood the planet with melted glaciers. Sounds like a mole man type of thing. Um, there are eight twists. Stack the twist next to the scheme as rising waters, then KO each hero from the HQ whose cost is less than or equal to the number of rising waters in that stack. Evil wins when 20 non-gray heroes are KO'd. So, basically, we gotta not die. So, um, we're using Doombots as the henchmen. I said to earlier, Subterranean or the villain group. And we're gonna be using uh, the Thing, Invisible Woman, and Silver Surfer as our heroes. But based on this, you would think we're just using the Thing. Jeez. I also figured out something about the uh, glare as I moved my... Uh, table down a little bit away from the window and the glare is minimized so we're good there uh so let's go ahead and get started this is actually my third attempt the first time i almost won second time i had the setting up to win and then i got bodied so we're gonna go ahead and start the game off we got a moloid here so he's fight okay what you hear he's got burrow if you don't remember what burrow means burrow is if you defeat the villain and the city is open it'll come back here if it has an ambush effect, you do not do the ambush effect, but you do the fight effect the second time if you fight them. Um, so the strategy is to have this occupied or kill them in the streets um, when you try to kill them. So we're at four and two. So uh, with the four, we're let, well, four recruit will grab this. Uh, four of a kind, Invisible Woman. If you played any other cards that cost four this turn, you get plus two attack. Really, really good. And the turn there. Can't really do a whole lot. We got Megator. So he ambushes, captures two bystanders. Ugh, one of them's Amy. Ugh. Again, we, we know we had, based on our last hand, that we're four and two again. We'll grab, uh, it started on Yancey Street thing. So this is a two recruit, but if you play a Fantastic Four here, you get plus two recruit. So very, very good. A lot of these cards have recruit stuff because of, they're all themed around the word focus. And focus means, if you don't know, Focus means that you can pay whatever cost of recruit. It says for the focus and get the ability. And you can do them as many times on your turn as you'd like. Um, there's one card, this one in particular, that limits you to only doing four one turn. But um, other than that, yeah, it's, still, it's really, really good. This is the card that I want. This is this is the, the money card right there that I'll need to get. I want like two or three of those um, to kind of get rid of this, the gray heroes when we start getting stuff. Uh, I know that my last, not my last video, a couple of videos ago, when I talked about the uh, best, my favorite heroes, um, I should have did an honorable mentions because there are quite a few cards that I, that I didn't include in there that I really enjoy, and Invisible Woman being one of them. I actually think she may be uh, a contender for in the top 10 best characters. She's Her cards work really well together. They get rid of your great heroes really easily. She's just really, really good. Um, okay, we got a scheme twist here. So there are no one cost cards. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to throw one of these on the bottom of the uh, deck. So we're going to throw this one here to the bottom. We're going to flip that over. Perfect. So we're at four and two again. So we'll grab one of these disappearing acts. So focus two, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. So really, really good card. Really, really good to get rid of some of those, uh, get rid of some of those uh, gray heroes as well as some wounds because we'll probably get wounds based on Mole Man's uh, Mole Man's um, deal. So we got a Doombot Legion here. All right. So we have three attack. We also have, we have um, four, five, six, seven recruit. With our three attack, ooh, sorry. We're gonna take out a Doombot here. Um, and then we're gonna look at the top two cards of our deck. We're gonna KO one and put the other one back. Let's put that there so we can see the victory pile a little bit. We have seven recruit. Um. Uh, let's grab, we'll grab the Silver Surfer Warp Speed. So he's uh, three, he's a three, two recruit card, but if you focus, you get the draw card. Uh, and then we'll use four and grab this uh, Disappearing Act again. 
and we should be pretty set. Maybe one more of those recruit cards, and then we'd be pretty set to kind of start getting rid of, um, like, uh, using that card's ability to get rid of some stuff. We need to grab some of these Crime Stopper things because they're four attack. They're very powerful, and you can their ability lets you move stuff around, villains around, to adjacent city spaces, so you can force them in the streets, and then that'll um, that will uh, help with. Um, you know, the burrow ability. So, really good stuff there. All right. We know we have at least one attack card here. Scheme twist. So, we have no two cost cards here. So, let's throw one of these to the bottom. We'll throw one of this down here. Flip that over. All right. So, a lot of recruit. So, two, four, Six, seven, eight. Recruit. You can't really attack anything. So let's spend four of it, or six of it on this. So whenever you, it's a Crime Stopper, whenever you defeat a, oop, whenever you defeat a villain, if I can get it to focus, too, too close. Come on, come on. Oh, if you can't, oh, there it is. Whenever you defeat a villain uh, in the bank, uh, you rescue a bystander, and then focus one, you can move a villain to an adjacent city space for another villain there, swap them. So that's good. And then I use two of mine to KO this from my hand. And then I'll end my turn. And that's from the Disappearing X uh, focus ability. All right. We have Raktar. Uh, ambush any villain in the streets. Moves to the bridge. Pushing any villain already there to escape. So there's nobody in the streets. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. We have five recruit this time. Uh, I really can't get a whole lot here. Um, let's see. What do we want? Maybe some attack cards. Well, let me grab, I'll grab this last, this one here, and that'll probably be the last one of those that I end up getting. So. Um, the day that I'm recording this is the same day as I recorded my last video, uh, March 3rd, so we have Venom coming out in a few days. Um, I ordered Venom online from Cool Stuff Inc. So they probably won't ship till the end of the week, which means I won't get to the week after. And the week after, literally the end of the week after, I'm leaving out of town for a week. Don't worry, I'll have videos uh, posted when I'm gone. But I may do the Venom unboxing and overview, but I may not be able to do a playthrough until after I get back from out of town. Um, and there is a chance that I may not be able to do the overview until after I get out of town as well. Uh, depending on when it comes so hopefully it comes before I I, uh, I leave out of town and I can get that video out for you guys um, but the playthrough will come shortly after and then I should have my new mat soon so I'll do a video showing that mat off too um, okay so let's see let's go ahead and flip over scheme twist so we have three now so these are going to be KO'd they're three cost cards which means I'm going to put this on a two so we can keep track when it gets to 20, we lose. So two cards have gone. Let's throw something to the bottom. We'll throw this to the bottom. Um, as you can tell, I really don't like Silver Surfer's cards. I don't think they benefit the particular setup we're using. But I picked him. I mean, I like some of his stuff. I picked him because I don't ever use him. And I, I don't know why. <laughs> so four, five, six, seven, attack. Or recruit, eight, recruit. And then I have four from complain a four-cost card. Five, attack. So five, attack, and... Um, Six recruit. Um, let's go ahead and kill the Moloid. He'll come back in the streets. I can KO one of my heroes. So that's KO'd. And then with my recruit, I'll go ahead and grab. I'll focus. Let me focus two and draw a card. Oh, okay. So focus two. I'm going to play this. And I use that focus ability. That's where I got that. To play this, and I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight recruit. Ooh, that made things a little interesting. Let's grab this, one of these again. And, hmm. I got, what, four recruit? Let me, f let's see, I had... How much I had three attack I had I had five attacks, so I only need one more. Let me focus again to draw a card. Okay, nice. And I'll focus one more time and draw a card. Okay. So two more recruit. I'm gonna focus again and draw a card. 
two more recruit. I'm going to focus again and draw a card. Okay, so I have one recruit, so it doesn't matter. But I have four attack here, so I went from five attack total to two from killing the Moloid uh, to six now. I have six attack here. Um, let's take out uh, Megator, and we're going to get these two bystanders, but one of them is going to go back into the thing. It's a shape-shifting copycat, so it comes back as a three cost or a three attack villain with uh, KO one of your heroes when you defeat it. So that's there. Um, yes. Oh, and that was in the bank, so I get to rescue a bystander uh, from that card. It's just a plain bystander. And then we'll go ahead and end the turn there. So a lot of action done there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Master Strike happens. These two escape. I will gain a wound for that. He's going to go to 9 attack. And two villains escaped, so I have to KO some stuff. So that's going to get KO'd anyway from the scheme. And then uh, that will too, so we'll just get rid of those. That goes to 4, and we're going to play another card from the villain deck. And it's also a Moloid. All right. So we're at 3 and 3. Let us, let's see. I'll grab this for 3. Get that kind of out of the way, and we'll kill this, and I'll KO one of my heroes. So, all right. So it's kind of rough, but uh, we'll make it. Yeah, I believe the next one's we have four master strikes, or yeah, scheme twist coming. Won't be a number four next time, so that means that um, all those invisible woman cards are gone. But I have three of the disappearing acts, so I think I'm okay. Um, I'm I don't know. I like them because I can just get rid of stuff, and then with that silver surfer, let me draw. Then I can kind of use that to deal with, to like not have to worry that the, they're clogging up the deck. All right, Megator again. You can capture two bystanders. Gonna come out there. Let's see what we got here. So we got two, four, six recruit, five attack. So again, I'm gonna kill him. He's going to burrow here. We're going to KO this. Uh, I have two attack left, and I have six recruit. Hmm. I'm going to spend two of the recruit to um, add two of my six to, to focus to draw a card. I'm going to spend two to draw a card. Uh, I need attack to kill the Moloid. I'm going <laughs> to... What did I have? I spent... I had six. I spent two. I spent two. So I have four right now. So I'm going to spend two again. So I have two left to draw a card. I'm going to spend two again to draw a card. There we go, attack. So I've got... Um, now I'm back at the other situation where I had... Uh, it's like the exact same turn. So um, let's do this. I'm going to spend one focus and move him to an adjacent city space. And then I'm going to kill him for six because I had uh, two. I had five to begin with. Then I had uh, killed him, so it went to, th uh, yeah, and then went to two, and then I have now uh, two plus four is six. So he's gone. This one becomes a hero of mine, so I'm going to put him here, and then we'll end the turn there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Scheme twist. So we're up to four now. We're up to four, so one, two, three are gone. One, two, and three. Okay, let's throw this at the bottom. Okay, let's see if we can do some stuff. All right, so two, three, four. Six attack there. Um, I'm going to focus two to get rid of this wound. I'm going to focus another two and get rid of this guy. And then I'm going to go ahead and kill this Moloid here. And since he's in the streets, he can't burrow back. And we're going to get rid of one of those with KO one of your heroes and end the turn there. Okay, so I feel like this is coming together. If I can get this Energy Surge card here, we're going to double our recruit whenever uh, we play it. And that will really help kind of deal with some stuff. But I need some attack. So I, I might get, I need to get this Crime Stopper as well. But with these Silver Surfer cards, I can basically play my turn. If I can set this up, I can build this right. I can play my entire deck each turn and then I can pump out a lot of attack. So that's going to be kind of the goal here. 
see if I can do it. Okay. Master Strike, so there are no uh, of those guys that escape, so we're good there. We're going to play another card. Giganto, so he's here. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we've got two, we've got four attack, five attack there. And then we have two, four, six, eight, ten recruit. So I'm going to use seven of it for sure to get this guy. So like I said, it's, um, it's double the recruit you have. So it's really, really good. So I've got three left. Uh, let's see if I can, let me spend two for uh, his focus ability to draw a card. They gave me attack. Perfect. Okay. So I have four attack from this for playing a four cost card, four and one. So that's actually nine. So I can hit Mole Man once. So let's go ahead and do that. Take the top card there. And let's see what it says. You get plus six usable only for villains in the streets. So can't really do anything with that. But one tactic down. Three to go. Pretty good. All right. Bystander. So Giganto grab that. We're going to play this. Draw a card. Um, there's two attack. Let's see. Two, two. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and six. So six attack, six recruit. Um, I'll spend two of my focus. Well, no. I'll spend two of my focus to get rid of this. KO it from my discard pile. And then four of my recruit to grab this uh, invisible woman. And I can't really attack anything this turn, so we're going to have to end the turn there. But at this pay rate, I think almost all of my... I think I have two of the um, shield cards left, like shield agents. So basically, they're all gone. Um, and that'll really help kind of get this deck going. I may grab that uh, other Silver Surfer, that Warp Speed one, just so I can get... Um, I can just force card draws with it. And then then I can um, just run through my... Like I said, run through my deck and then make it every turn. And I also need to grab that Crime Stopper uh, thing... To get some more attack. Okay, another Giganto. So let's see what we got here. Drop that for two. So four, six, eight, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen and three. So thirteen attack. We got it to hit the mastermind. So oops. I'm like a weird angle, so it's hard for me to grab stuff. So let's see. So um, we've got here, each other player chooses a subterranean villain in the victory pile and put that into an escape pile. So that's got to go in my escape pile because in solo, Van Solo, each other means you. So he's at 10 now. Kind of sucks, but, you know, we got to deal with it. We're going to play, we're going to use three to grab this warp speed. And uh, that way, like I said, we can kind of force the deck to speed through with the focus and then just keep pumping out attack every turn. Doombot here. Let's see what we can do. Um, we're going to play this draw card. Okay. We've got some interesting stuff here. So two, four, six, seven. This is going to 14 our recruit. And then we have five attacks. So we have 14 recruit. So let's straight up use uh, six of it to grab Crime Stopper. So we have eight left. Um, let's draw a card with focus. So we'll do two focus to draw a card. Another two focus to draw a card. Another two focus to draw a card. Okay. Okay, this is going to get out of hand here. <laughs> so we still have two left. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight recruit left. So we have eight recruit. Um, I'll use two focus from this disappearing act to KO that shield agent. I'll use two focus to get rid of that. I'm going to use two focus to get rid of this. And then we're going to spend uh, two focus on the last of it to draw a card with, with the other uh, with warp speed. And I have, to, um, I have to do this. Let's see what we get for the card draw. All right, so that gets us four attacks. We have nine attack now. Um, so let's see. I have nine attack. We'll go ahead and kill this Giganto. He'll go into the streets. Uh, I'll get this bystander, which lets me um, recruit a... I gain a sidekick off of that. And then at the end of my turn, I get to draw two extra cards. So I have to remember that. So I'll end my turn there. So those are my two extra cards. There's three. Yep. 
Yeah. So basically, I think I think we can win the game. Not maybe not next turn, but the turn after. Like we can do a bunch of damage here. Okay. Scheme twist. So we are at number five on the scheme twist. So one, two, three. Okay. So four of these are out. So this moves to eleven. So eleven villains have, or eleven heroes have been knocked out from the scheme. We're gonna throw uh, this to the bottom here. Okay. So let's see what we can do. There's four attack. Sorry, there's eight attack right there. We're gonna play this to draw two. So I'll throw this at the bottom here. So eight attack. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 recruit. And then I have 8 attack. I wonder if I can win the game here. 8, 10, 12. This is 12 attack. So let's hit uh, Mole Man again. So you have plus 6 usable only to recruit under the uh, streets. That's what this tactic does. So I, I get this has only cost me 1 to recruit. So. I'm going to spend one and uh, get it. Oh, man. So there's the other rare. So let's see. I had 14 recruit. Now I have 13 left. I still have two attack left. Um, let's go ahead and get this as well. So it's clobbering time. You get plus three for each other uh, green hero you played this turn. So I have five recruit left. We'll go ahead and use focus twice to draw two cards with the warp speed ability. Um, I have more attack there, so I went. I had. Um, I have six attack now, and I have another recruit. So I have two recruit left. So let's grab another card with this. I have no recruit, so zero plus zero times two is zero still. Um, I'll go ahead and take out this doom bot. I have to. I know I have to KO one of my good cards, but. We're going to we'll KO this. So this goes up to 12. Put this one back, and we'll end the turn there. Okay. So this is it. This is how we win. Now, I know a lot was going on there. Um, a lot was going on with the, with the recruiting. But, you know, I said I didn't like uh, Silver Surfer, but I like that card of his. Well, not only his rare, but that other, that common card of his that lets you draw. That's really, really good. That makes him actually good, I think. Because the problem with this one is it's really way too specific. It's like defeat a five or six villain after focusing six. It just seems like, it just, I don't know how common, I guess if I looked at the data and how common those were. Like if I compiled, and this one's focus nine to get nine attack, which is fine, but that's a lot of recruit to get, which I guess if I'm getting a bunch of recruits, it's not a big deal. But, uh, did I have a bystander come out already? I did. So this bystander doesn't count. So that's thrown out. So, yeah, I had a bystander come out on... Did I have a bystander come out? Yeah, I had a bystander. Did I? Because this one captured... Did I have a bystander come out? Yeah, I think I did. I think I had a bystander come out. So this one doesn't count. So sorry about that. I actually just added a second one in. Or if I messed up and I never had a bystander come out, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Because, no. But anyway, Raktar comes out, pushes him to the bridge. The game's over this turn anyway. So we're going to play this, draw a card. I can promise you it's over this turn. So we have four, five attack. Um, we're going to play that for two. I'm going to draw a card with focus, play that, draw a card for focus, draw a card for focus, um, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to double it to ten, recruit, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw twelve, thirteen, and I said I had, what, ten recruits, so I'm going to focus five times to draw five cards, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to focus once for that, draw a card, and then it doesn't matter on that one. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
25, 30, 33, 36. So 36 attack on that. Um, so I have two recruit, okay? So I'm not gonna bother in case that in case that was a bystander thing, I'm not gonna bother attacking him. I'll just take out these guys. So I have 36 attack. I'm gonna use seven of it on this. He's gonna burrow here. I get to rescue a bystander because of this. Actually, twice I get to rescue two bystanders. Um 36. Yeah, this should be enough. So 36, uh, 7 drops me down to 29. I attack this. That drops me down to uh, 22. I, I kill this. He's dead. And then that drops me down to more than 10. And then I use the last to kill Mole Man. The last tactic. All right. Good game. Good game. Good game there. So let me count up the victory pile, and I'll, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So my victory pile consisted of 49 points, but... Three villains were the escape pile, so that's 46. Also, five of these came out, so that's minus 15. So 46 minus 15 is 31. So 31 victory points. Um, as always, I'll put the description, the setup in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is actually this these, this team worked out really, really well. And I can tell you that the first two times I tried this, which may be why there was an accidental another bystander, because I always try to switch the bystander for every playthrough. I don't use the same one when I retry the, the attempt. So I might have forgotten to take it out when I put the new one in. But um, anyway, the problem that I may have arise the first time around was I didn't utilize Silver Surfer. So that's bad on me for not for sleeping on him. But right here, good stuff. This this card here, good stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, thank you very much. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in another video. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.